Uh, thank you very much for being here. This is my last half hour, 25 minutes or so, but uh, no one needs to worry about that. Uh, right. When you think of Wigan and you think of music, you think of Northern Soul or you think of the sound of pastry crushing between your teeth and gravy dribbling down your chin. And when you think of the blues, you're automatically transported to the deep south of the United States. No, perhaps Wigan. But a local performer has made it through to the heats of a national competition looking for the best unsigned and original blues acts. And he's here now, Brandon Lee Webb and his mate. John, hey, Brandon. Hey, you all right? Wigan and the Blues don't seem to go through hand in hand, do they? Uh, it's not even chalk and cheese, is it? Because that no. goes together better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a straight. A little bit earlier on the show, we were doing Wigan Blues on Twitter, we asking people to send us in, and uh, it's kind of the blues. You can kind of it. And we asked the people to change the song so they return. My favourite was uh, "Since Pie Gravy Left Me." <laughs> <laughs> That's the Wigan Blues for you. That isn't is it? the blues, though. To be honest, yeah. It is the blues, though, yeah, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. So, tell us uh, about the Blues, and you're a young man, how old are you, Brandon? Uh, I'm not as young as I might look, but thank you. <laughs> how, how young are you, though? 36. 36, but you're not a gnarly old kind of bloke no, who sold no. his soul at a crossing. No, no. You know, no where would you no. sell your soul if Wigan? What do you do? Uh, I'd probably cash him some places. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, because that's a business, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm also happy>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that made me laugh, that, the <laughs> idea of... Um, Got within, how much for this? Yeah. It's like 20p, that'll do. your soul, that well, sort of come thing. Come on, it's only 36. That's yeah. a sketch waiting to be done, isn't it? <laughs> I think it we might We should be. film this. You've got a camera <laughs> filming. You should go in cash converters <laughs> in Wigan, and you should go in and go, like, Dr. Robert Johnson, <laughs> I am going to sell my soul. He did it at the crossroads, didn't he? He, he did, and it, it wouldn't get as abstract for him as it would do for me, you know? Yeah. How, how do you prove that it's you, like, you know? Yeah, it's fantastic. Clearly he had soul. Uh, um, yeah. So, uh, how did you get into the blues, then, if you grew up in Wigan? Is it, was it a thing from your parents? What is what is this? Um, no, it was, uh, well, ca kind of possibly uh, parent, uh, but no, uh, The Doors really was probably the first band I got into that was blues influenced when I was about 12, 13, the Oliver Stone film. Yeah. Um, and I, it just kind of went on from there, but I'm, I'm into all kinds of music. It yeah. just so happens that the acoustic well, the, stuff I play is, is bluesy. So. A, lot of the, a lot of what we would call popular music now, whether that's rhythm and blues, which is something very different, or soul music, mm -hmm. or rock and roll itself, mm -hmm comes from the blues. Exactly, everything's from the blues, so it's all it's yeah. all in there. Well, it's all from a shell, really, in a stick, isn't it, originally? That's where it's all from, you <laughs> yeah. know, we can get it from there. But... The diddly bow wire on a house. Yeah, but thing, I mean, yeah. you, you know, from Skiffle uh, in this country, Lonnie came Donnegan, from Lonnegan right? and, yeah, yeah. and through to, um, you know, the Rolling Stones and some Muddy Waters and that kind of thing. And exactly. It's, 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 it's kind of a, a blueprint. See, the, the, the original, blue, I, I like blueprint. it, I like yeah. it, that's oh, good, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. The, um... The thing with it, with with the doors, it, it sort of led on to other things, you know, yeah. and and open doors for you. It, well, there you go, there you go, and no one's closed them yet, thankfully. No. Um, but no, the, the likes of Kelly Joe Phelps, like you know, more modern blues players. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, the, the the whole Bo Diddley thing originally, you know, Muddy Waters and Electric Mud and things yeah. like that. Um, Definitely, you know, had a big influence. But the Delta Blues players, Robert Johnson, Mississippi John Hurt, yeah, um, Sunhouse, uh, those kind of people, just you know, the original acoustic sort of stuff. Yeah. Because I find, you know, big bands and stuff are great, but it's easy to slam a distortion and go, wow, and yeah. go, wow, wow, it's amazing. But just to have an acoustic and make that something big. I make is, light so. of the fact that you grew up in Wigan and the blues are unusual and everything, but. Uh, I imagine if you woke up in the morning and wish then you're compelled to write a blue song, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get letters now, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm do you know what do you know what Wig Wigan is Wigan is a great place. Uh, I mean I went to school in Wigan, uh, in Oral, uh, yeah. as part of Wigan. I have only lived in Wigan for, for ten years. Uh, I was born in Blackpool originally, believe Were it or you? not. So uh, you go well, there out of season, definitely get the We blues. can laugh and joke about this, but the blues is the music of the people, isn't it? Exactly. It's, the, it's the people exactly. of the downtrodden and it's the people who've, who've, who've you know struggled through and this kind of you know, from spirituals and perhaps people who are not who are not exactly. religiously inclined exactly. had the blues as some kind of faith to drive them through, didn't it? Yeah, correct, correct. And, uh, and if you go back to the roots of it, um, you know, the, the slaves in America had their religion taken from them. <clears throat> they had parts of Christianity given to them, but the actual soul was in the music and that was the hope that was in there and it was a message of the people. So Fantastic. Yeah. So you're uh, so so tell us how far you are in the competition then, what's happening? Um well we've got one heat, uh, which is the Northwest Heat, so we're one of six in the Northwest Heat and then it's the final um in London, or being well the heat is on the eleventh in Newton Lee Willows, yeah. the True Blues Club. Um and you know all being well, we can get through to, to London. Uh, and then let's get us through to New Brunswick in Canada, to yeah. the, the famous Blues Festival. Are you? Would that... It's the Harvest uh, Jazz and Blues Festival. It's an amazing festival uh, of wonderful, wonderful music and amazing people as well. You know, That'd be amazing, wouldn't it, for you? Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah. Great. Not kidding. Listen, we're going to get some travel, okay. uh, and then we're going to speak to uh, a man who's organising the competition, 
There's Jordan's on the line after this. We're chatting uh, to Brandon Lee Webb and his mate, uh, and mate Dan about a competition he's doing. He's a blues man from Wigan, and we're still we're still here. Are you all right, fellas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and should be on the line now. We should have uh, Lee George, organizer of the competition. Is that you, Lee? Yeah, that's me, Justin. How are you? All right, where are we speaking to you from? I'm in Lincolnshire. In Lincoln, another home of the blues. <laughs> yeah, I lost, you know, I lost my spirit in Sleaford. I don't know if that would uh, work. <laughs> hey, I've driven around Lincoln. It's flat and unforgiving, isn't it? And it's kind of misty and drizzly. I would imagine that you feel like the blues quite often there, don't you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, what's so good about what Brandon's doing? Tell us, Lee. So fantastic. And what's the, so what is the point of the competition? Is this just to, to give uh, people a leg up and a kickstart or is it, are we, are we sort of getting the word of the blues out there? Fantastic. You've got a very good broadcaster's voice there, Lee. Have you done a bit of this before? Uh, not really, no. Oh, you do sound. He does sound like he could. You could. You could very. You know, I could I imagine you presenting a, a blues show somewhere on the radio, or something like that. You know, I think. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll take you up on that one day. Yeah, you should do that. You should do that. So, listen, million dollar question. He's our man. Uh, what chances has he got of winning and getting to to get to New Brunswick? All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, listen, he's going to play for us now, so we won't let you listen so you don't get an unfair advantage. But, hey, but just, let, just have a little listen. Listen, li listen to this. And thanks, okay. for, and thanks for putting the competition on. Honestly, we really appreciate the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't, don't suck up to him now. That's, that's, not sucking up. That's a fact, mate. That's <laughs> uh, Lee, thanks very much for your time. All the best for your competition. And uh, right, well, let's hope the best man wins, all right? On the 11th of January. January. Yeah. Super. Ah, oh, fiver. What's the, what's the fiver between friends, eh? <laughs> Nothing at all. All the best, Lee. Take care. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, so, Brandon, you're going to play for us. What are you going to play? Uh, it's a, a song called Roly Burn Scars. Roly Burn Scars. Burn Scars. In your own time, my friend. Cheers. <laughs> In the midday sun, he 
falls off his stool and cries His last drink he adorns as he flies Fantastic chaps, thanks Cheers. very much. Nice one, uh, I thought you were going to perhaps do something uh, you know we'd heard of, something from the Deep South talking about Alabama or something, <laughs> but no, it's about a guy in a, in a bookies, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Losing yeah. money on an horse and covered in, in cigarette burns. Yeah, uh, be Mars ex fella. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not revealing that. I hope we already know that. No, it's based on. Uh, all the very best for the competition Thank you very and much. for the rest of your career. It's Brandon, uh, Brandon uh, Lee Webb, that's right, isn't it? BrandonLeeWebb.com, uh, yeah. BrandonLeeWebb.com. Have a look there, have a listen to his music. All the best. 11th of January at the True Blues Club in Newton the Willows. Five quid in, six great acts. If you like the blues, get along there. Oh, there thanks go. a lot. Thank Is that you. All right? Yeah. Very good. Means we don't have to play Fleetwood Mac, which is uh... <laughs> actually Fleetwood Mac is blues, isn't it? The original. Well, originally, original. yeah. Thomas yeah, yeah. Ross Mark, with Pete Green, with the cheese in his hair, the famous Amsterdam cheese. You haven't got a spare set of these headphones, have you? I can take over. <laughs> 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 My last day, mate, do what you want.